Yeah, so that was 100% luck. I got here early, I tried to go to one cafe, and it was packed, and then I just kind of gave up. I was just gonna chill for a little bit. And I went up there and having coffee, and all of a sudden the window just opened up. I was like one of six people in that window that could actually get a view. That was probably the best view, and to not be in the sun, and to not be like just dying, because there were thousands of people just sitting there in the sun, baking. I was inside of a coffee shop, and had like perfect view of all of them, so I'm the luckiest guy right now. That was amazing. So I have to go return my skateboard right now. Glad you guys were here. So glad we could catch that. That was so lucky. pulled over by the police. They did not like me rolling past on a skateboard in the street with a camera and I guess I think it's because I, I didn't mean to focus on them. I'm just like swinging the camera wildly as I pass by certain things and uh, they did not like that. And he asked me if it was legal to do what I was doing in the US and I said yes. And he said it's illegal in Spain, which I don't know what part is illegal. Or he said you can have the skateboard. And he grabbed my headphones off my neck. He said you can have your headphone. And then he pointed to my camera and I was like no. I thought he was gonna be like I'm taking the camera. I'm gonna walk the skateboard. I think it's perfect that I was going to turn it back in. I got a little too cocky, cruising around on it, and I got a little slap on the wrist, so, whoo, that could have been bad. Gracias, policia. Hola. Hola. Is it illegal to skateboard in the street? No. There's some cops just... Is it? I'm not sure. I was skating, I was filming too, so maybe uh, I was just like yeah, a little too... Yeah, it's fine, it's 200 euros if you have earphones or things. Yeah, headphones. That, that's not it. Okay. Or like the whole pack. <laughs> yeah, just the whole, like I was just being obnoxious. Like. Checked out of the Airbnb. We're gonna head back to Plaza San Juan. It's where they have the giants that are gonna be dancing. After that, I'm leaving. Trip to Ibiza. heavy I was down in the in the main section with everybody it, it wasn't fun but yeah I saw the Giants I saw that I saw the things that's all I really need just saw the uh, Catedral de Barcelona that I don't know these things I'm not a smart man and I refuse to become one after that we're gonna go sit and eat my favorite thing to do ever so I haven't had any paella the entire time I'm here. It's a rice dish. It's like risotto, but in general, it's served for two people. It's made for two people. Yep. Here's the thing about paella. You can get it and it's fine. It's good, it's tasty, it's seafood and rice and all that stuff, but you can't get it alone. They don't tell you that, you know? Some restaurants, they'll allow you to get it alone, but it's just sad. It's, it's tantamount to ordering nachos alone. It's like those fajita platters. Can you imagine someone coming out of the kitchen with a big sizzling fajita platter? It just goes to one lonely guy sitting in the corner. You're like, holy shit, that guy is going through some stuff. It's like making them sing happy birthday to you at a restaurant when you're eating alone. I mean, it's just, it's so much. And then the whole restaurant just like being like, dude, you doing solo paella? It's not a good look. So that's the tip. Put a face on a balloon, you know, and like smash their face and just do something other than being a guy eating paella alone. Uh, I'm gonna go catch my boat now. See ya. This is better than any seat or even bed. They were fake outlets, they were disconnected, and they act like, oh, sorry, they're broken. No, they're anti-customer. They're anti-people that have to work. I have a job to do, okay? It's making videos of myself traveling the world being an idiot and posting videos of it for free. 
to 70 people who watch. How am I supposed to put out my next episode of idiot on a skateboard to 45 people from my high school? I can't even be mad, it's so dumb. Sometimes I take myself a little too seriously because I really did get mad. I was like, I have work to do. <laughs> this isn't work. Look at these fat ass trees. These trees are thick, dude. As someone that also carries most of their weight in their lower section, you're still lovable. You thick ass trees. I keep thinking of going off on that woman. You even know who my father is? He is an engineer at Arizona Power Services. Okay, I come from a long line of public school teachers. I don't know if you knew, but you're talking to someone who comes from a two jet ski family. Okay. <laughs> Let me charge my computer. Love me some Barcelona. I keep talking like looking out because I'm enjoying, I'm making you look at me while I look at all this. Very rude. Getting loud, we're getting on. Okay, I don't like to say that I'm lucky, but uh, to be on a ferry heading to Ibiza to catch the ending fireworks display of La Marseille Festival, pretty lucky. This is the making of a bad horror movie. The Wi-Fi is out, I have no Wi-Fi. Stuck on a boat that's rocking like crazy. And when I'm feeling scared, and when I'm feeling kind of hungry, you know I reach for my childhood favorite, Cunterbutt. <laughs> Cunterbutt. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get delusional.